G'day everyone, Tim from the vMix here. Today we're going to be talking about using key and fill output with vMix. Now the plan is to send my content from this vMix PC over to Heath, who is running an ATEM SDI in the other studio. So give us a wave, Heath. As you can see, he's very, very happy to be here and a part of this tutorial. Now sometimes you may want to use vMix for your graphics, titles, scoreboards, or perhaps other content in your Blackmagic switcher. vMix allows you to do this via key and fill output using specific capture cards. Currently vMix supports certain Blackmagic and Bluefish cards. Now this may change in the future, so check the link in the description for updates to this list. Now you can also check out the help guide while you're there for key and fill if you want to follow along. Now all versions of vMix support one external output via a capture card, and with vMix 4K Pro and Max, you can have two. Now if you want to output titles with alpha via NDI instead of a capture card, you can do that with any version of vMix as well. And we have a video in the description if you would like to explore that option. vMix can be a versatile part of your workflow. Maybe you don't need it for a whole production, you might wanna just use it for one particular thing. For example, key and fill titles. Now, if you want to give vMix a try with all these features, you can check out the free 60-day trial on our website. No watermarks, just vMix for free for 60 days with all of the features. Okay, so now onto the demo. Today, we're going to be using the Blackmagic DeckLink Duo 2 that we have installed in our studio PC here, Constance. Now, we'll be taking the key and fill out from this card via SDI and sending it to our ATEM SDI that is currently in front of Heath. Now the Quad 2 and the Duo 2 require you to make an adjustment in the Blackmagic desktop video utility for key and fill to work. Now you need to group together SDI ports 1 and 2. So here I am in the Blackmagic desktop video setup. I've got my Decklink Duo selected. And as you can see, I've got channel 1 selected as well. So I'm gonna be using channel 1 for this example. Then I need to go into the settings, go to connectors, and then select one and two. So I need to be able to combine my channel one output from this card in vMix to use SDI one and two, so I can use them for key and fill. So when we go to the vMix settings, I'll be selecting DeckLink Duo channel one to output my key and fill. Basically, it's allowing us to combine our vMix output over two connectors that we can send key and fill out of vMix into the ATEM SDI that can use the key and fill on the other end. Now, if you wanna know a little bit more about this, check out our help guide that will go through a little bit more information. Now, before we set up our external output settings, I need to create an input to send to Heath. Because we wanna use all of the transition functions of our title, we can't just send the title. We need to send a transparent input and then overlay the title so we get all of those cool transitions. So firstly, I need to add a transparent input to send to him. So I need to go to add input, and then I just need to go to color, select transparent, click okay. So now I have a transparent input I can send him, like so, and then I need to add my title. So let's go to lucky number 75 here, click okay, and we'll just put this in. So now we have a transparent input that we can send and then we can overlay our title like so. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the vMix external output settings. You can do that by going to settings and then external output. Now you can also do this by going to the little gear icon here down to next to external and that will open up this same screen right here. As you can see at the top, we have external one selected in green. And firstly, we need to make sure that we've ticked this external renderer. So by clicking this, it will activate our capture card for output. Underneath that, we are going to use the same display settings for our production. So we have a 1080 5994P production that we want to use. So as you can see here, those settings are there. So for the device, we're going to be sending our output on the DeckLink Duo 2 on channel one. Now you remember before we combined channel one to use two SDI connectors so that we could send the key and fill out on channel one of the card. So underneath that, we have the alpha channel options. So we have none, pre-multiplied, and straight. Now by default, the ATEM SDI is expecting a pre-multiplied alpha channel. So we're going to select that and we're going to leave that as is. So that's what it's expecting. 
that's what we're gonna send it. Now, if you've got a different device, it may expect straight alpha. So you will need to check your device settings to make sure that you've got the right alpha channel being sent to it. So once that's done, we just need to click OK down the bottom. All right, so theoretically, we've now set up our Duo 2 to send out key and fill on two SDI ports over to Heath. So we have our Duo 2 here. We're going to be connecting our SDI cables into connector one and two. Then we're going to be putting it into our computer. We're then going to be connecting up the SDI cables from the Duo 2 over to Heath's ATEM SDI in his studio. Now Heath has connected those two SDI cables to his ATEM SDI on ports three and four, otherwise known as camera three and four in the ATEM software. He has also connected up the Blackmagic Ursa camera into port one of his ATEM so that he can show you an example of how we overlay onto a camera. And finally, he's sending out one of the outputs from the ATEM SDI into this television here so that we can see Heath's wonderful face in full 1080 HD quality. Now that the inputs are connected, Heath is going to go into the ATEM software control and set up the key and fill for a DSK. So that's going to be the easiest way for us to show you how this works. So firstly, he's going to go to palette, then downstream key, then he's going to select his fill source and his key source, which he has connected up to camera three and camera four, like I mentioned before. Then he's going to leave the pre-multiplied alpha option on, as that's what we're sending from vMix. Then finally, he's going to switch the DSK on air so that whenever we send content from vMix, it's going to display. Okay, Heath, are you ready now? Okay, so now that Heath is ready, what we're going to do is turn on the external button in vMix and that will activate our external output, like so. And then what we're going to do is overlay our title onto the transparent input that we're currently sending right here. Okay, so I think we're ready. Everything's set up. The external output is on. I've got my transparent input being sent out and now I just need to overlay my title. So I'm ready, Heath's ready. Let's go ahead and overlay this and check it out. There we go, we've managed to do it. So we've just overlaid that and that's appearing on Heath's production through his ATEM SDI. Heath does it again. Well done, Heath. Well done. So that's how you can set up vMix to send key and fill to your Blackmagic switcher. This method would require someone to be pushing the titles live from the vMix side of things like I was doing, but you could investigate using something like Companion if you wanted to combine ATEM and vMix shortcuts for your controller. Now, if you're using this as a part of your production in some way with the key and fill, feel free to drop us a comment and let us know how you're using it. It's always interesting to hear how people are using these functions. Now, if you do have any questions about vMix, feel free to send us through an email via the support page on vmix.com as we can't answer technical questions via YouTube comments, which is a shock to a lot of people, but unfortunately we can't, we need those emails. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later.